Guys, we are continuing uh, Halliday Resnick Walker. In this session, we will do problem number 35. In crystals of the salt of uh, cesium chloride, cesium ion CS positive form eight uh, form the eight corners of a cube and chlorine ion is at the cube center. The edge length of the cube is 0.4 nanometers. The cesium ions are each deficient uh, by one electron and uh, chlorine ion has an excess of one electron. Part A. What is the magnitude of the net electrostatic force exerted on the Cl negative ion by the eight CS positive ions uh, at the corners of the cube? Part B. If one of the cesium positive ions is missing, the crystal is said to have a defect. What is the magnitude of the net electrostatic force exerted on Cl negative ion by the seven remaining CS positive ions? Okay, so we have this cubic structure here. Uh, Cl negative ion is at the center and uh, Cs positive ions are at eight corners of the cube. Okay, so Cs is at the center, then at eight corners of the cube, uh, there are eight Cs positive ions. So they are symmetrically placed around this one. So obviously net force will be zero. Okay, so part A is done net force on chlorine negative is zero in first case okay they are symmetrically placed around it so net force must be zero okay net force must be zero okay so now part b we are removing one of the cs positive ions okay we are removing one of the cs positive ions let's suppose uh, This is particle 1, particle 2, particle 3, particle 4, particle 5, particle 6, particle 7, particle 8. So there are 8. 8 forces on this central particle. So net force on central particle chlorine, negative ion, is equal to force from particle 1 plus force from particle 2 plus force from particle 3 plus force from particle 4 plus force from particle 5 plus force from particle 6 plus force from particle 7 plus force from particle 8. These eight forces are acting. Okay. And the resultant is zero because they are symmetrically placed around you. So net force is zero, which is our part one. We had to find out where to say what is the net force on the particle. Now, if I remove particle 1, if I remove particle 1, if I remove this cesium 1 at the first corner, then 7 are left. Then the other 7 are left. What is the net force on chlorine due to those 7 ions by removing this one? So, I can rewrite this here. F2 plus F3 plus F4 plus F5 plus F6 plus F7 plus F8 is equal to F1. I'll shift to this side. It will become minus F1. Okay, it will become minus. So resultant of the seven forces, two to eight, is equal in magnitude to force due to particle one but in opposite direction. Minus sign tells you in opposite direction. So after removing one, this one we are removing here, uh, this uh, cesium ion one we are removing. The net force on chlorine will be only because of the other seven. So net force on chlorine ion will be F2 plus F3 plus F4 plus F5 plus F6 plus F7 plus F8. Now that one we already know is minus F1. So this thing is minus F1. Minus F1. So net force on chlorine ion due to seven cesium positive ions is same as the force on chlorine ion due to the first particle, the one which you have removed, but obviously in opposite direction. 
Okay. Now we are not concerned about the direction. So if we remove what uh, the conclusion is that if we remove this cesium ion, the force due to seven other cesium ions will be same in magnitude that was because of this one there. So we'll just find out force due to this one. That will be the net force due to other seven particles. Okay. So we need to find out force only because of one. Now for that we need this distance first. Charges we already know. Chlorine is having a charge of uh, minus E and cesium is having a charge of plus E. So charges, is, uh, charges are already known to us. We just need the distance. For that we'll first find out this face diagonal of the cube. Now it is a cube so each face is a square. Square of side A say square of side A which is 0.4 nanometers. So this will become a right angle triangle here. This one is A. This one is also A. So this one will be. So we have a right angle triangle. This one is A. This one is A. So this one will be root 2A. Pythagorean theorem. So this one is here root 2A. Now what I'll do is. Uh, this is the base. Okay. This is the base. This is the diagonal of the base. I'll consider this one here now this side here now. Now this side is perpendicular to this one. Remember this is in the base, this is in the horizontal plane and this is in the vertical plane. So this one is perpendicular to this one. I'll consider the body diagonal now. Body, this one between 1 and 7. Okay, between 1 and 7. Body diagonal. Now this is root 2 A and this one is A and the body diagonal. This forms a right angle triangle. So we have one more right angle triangle now. One side A, the other side root to A, this side will be, which is the body diagonal, this side will be under root of this square, which is 2A square plus A square. So that is root 3A, root 3A, okay, root 3A. So this is our distance body diagonal from 1 to 7. This corner here is 1 and this corner here is 7. At corner 1, we had cesium positive ion which we removed. And remember, due to other 7 particles, force is same as due to this single one. And we have chlorine negative ion at the center. So what is distance between them is half of the body diagonal. So that is root 3a by 2. Root 3a by 2. So we know the distance now. Okay. So we know the distance now. Now force. force on CL negative due to other 7 CS positive ions. Remember that is same as the force on CL negative ion due to the removed one. So we'll just find out one of them. What we have is now CL negative, CS positive separated by a distance of root 3 by 2A. And remember A is 0 0.4 nanometers, 0 0.4 nanometers. So forces, gamma, Q1, Q2 divided by R squared. Gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into Q1 is E, Q2 is also E. This one is having a charge of E, this one is having a charge of E. We're only concerned with the magnitude, okay. I'm just taking the values of the charges. Then divided by R which is root 3 by 2A root 3 by 2a with the square there, okay, with the square. So this implies f is equal to uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 into e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 with the square, e into e is e square, root 3 by 2 into a is 0 0.4 nanometer, so into 10 to the power minus 9 with this square there. So you have to work this out. Uh, this was 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, this was here 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So you have to work this out. Uh, F is equal to, I have already done that, that's 1.92 into 10 to the power minus 9 newtons. So this will be the force on the chlorine ion due to a single cesium ion. 
but that is magnitude wise same as due to the other seven ions. Okay, so net force on chlorine negative ion due to seven cesium positive ions is 1.92 into 10 to the power minus 19, uh, minus 9 newtons. Yeah, minus 9 newtons. Okay.